Hey guys, Moose here. Welcome back to our Stone Hearth series and our Riot as Children playthrough. Notification just disappeared, but we had a guy level up to level 4. Forget who it was, doesn't really matter. Not really that meaningful. We are continuing to dig out an area for our crafting stuff. Uh, it's going to give enemies a little bit of a path into our home here from this direction, but they normally come from over here or over here, so... Speaking of which, here they are. Nice little fight going on between the enemies here. Looks like the orcs are going to win this one. Oh, by the way, they mess each other up a little bit. I don't think any of the orcs are going to die. Uh, this guy could eat it. No, he's going to live. Alright. He'll be messed up, but he's alive. Alright. Probably should have sent the military out a while ago, but well, I'll do it now. No big deal, they're going to get there in time anyway. Stop them from taking down any of our doors. Yep, there we go. Nice and easy. Kicking the shit out of them here. Just some annoying archers, not really anything that threatening. That's fine. I think these, hat these guys don't have hats, but they can drop hats. Yeah, they can. Okay. I remember seeing that a long time ago, so it's just, you know, fun to check it out again. So, I know I've only got, uh, I've got three series running right now, but I've only got two games going. I know that's kind of, you know, the variety's not all, all that one might hope for, so I apologize for that. I am aware of it, and it is something that I am working on. It's just slow going right now, uh, mainly because... It may seem like, if you don't think about it too much, it's just as simple as saying, all right, well, you know, just queue up, uh, you know, load up the game and start recording. What's the big deal? Shouldn't be that hard, right? But uh, there's a lot more that goes into it than that, unfortunately. And the main thing is the art, you know, doing the thumbnail art. So getting that done. Sorry, it's not what I meant to do. Getting that done is a little bit of a barrier, and I don't want to. I don't want to request the art when I, I don't know how good the series is going to be. So I have to record a bit to kind of get a feel for it. And usually, I don't know, man. It, like it, it's tough. Sometimes I don't even know how the series is going to go until I'm like ten episodes in. But part of that, I feel, is just it depends how people react to it. And if I see that I'm getting views, I'll feel a lot better about it. So I'm still trying to figure out how to judge the quality of a series before I put anything up. But I probably need to be like three to five episodes into it just to see if I should ask for the art. And that's some, I didn't used to do that, but it's something that I need to be doing for a lot of reasons. You know, there's um, there's a very real cost associated with getting the art done. So I'm trying to kind of get better at doing that and figure out, okay, well, is this going to be something that I want to do? Not just am I enjoying it, but is it, is what I'm doing entertaining enough to be worth putting out there? And sometimes the answer is no. Sometimes the games don't work. Like, let's see, looking back, RimWorld, I kind of got, I love RimWorld. I really enjoyed it, but I got kind of frustrated with it. And I feel like that probably put off a lot of people, or the timing just wasn't good, or I don't know. It did, like RimWorld didn't feel like it was working for me, and the this I got kind of unlucky. The series that I had going was like it sucked because it was great, and then like in one of the first few episodes of that particular the last run that I did like I had to restart a couple times and those that was a few episodes but once the like ultimate the final one that I was doing started like within like five episodes one of my key military people had like both his arms shot off I think he had one arm shot off but he didn't he already was missing an arm so then he just had no arms and he was useless for for everything he was just totally useless and that kind of neutered my ability to play the game so that really sucked but uh, 
it, it kind of put a damper on things and then go you know getting off on the wrong foot it's not really too much you can do from that point on so it was sort of just kind of barely skating by and save scumming and doing a lot of stuff it just wasn't that fun so like if i was playing normally i put it would have probably restarted that one so that was what happened with oh and then of course i was complaining about my main issue with rimworld this is going kind of slow i don't it seems like it's lagging a little my main issue with rimworld was uh oh no it's fine okay so like having that whatever thing up gives it some issues funny um i was just having some issues with the way the moods worked i drew the comparison of dwarf fortress i won't getting into it too much here but in Dwarf Fortress, when you have a mood and it blows up in your face, like you have a tantr tantrum spiral, for example, you can kind of see exactly what happened and why it's your fault, and you had plenty of time and opportunity to prevent it. In RimWorld, there are things I could have done, but there's so many... It's not just the moods. There's so many things that you're just fucked. Like, there's nothing... You can't do anything about it. You just got fucked by RNG. And that's it. And I feel like RNG is fine. I don't mind it as a mechanic, but I mind it in that kind of game. I feel like it doesn't really fit that well in that type of game because when you have something like having a guy's arm get shot off or, you know, having later in the game, having a big invasion happen in the middle of a solar flare when all your turrets are down, like it's, it's shit. Like, what are you supposed to do? And I, I just don't think it's fair in that respect. So... It is, you know, early access, so whatever. Maybe they'll fix it, but there's just a lot of little things like that that I just wasn't happy with, so that was the story with RimWorld. This war of mine, I, like, I really wanted to like, but just couldn't. It just didn't do anything for me. So that sucked. Um, do I need steel? I don't really need steel. Let's do, like, 20. No, let's do, like, 40 steel. We don't need that many iron ingots hanging around. But yeah, this War of Mine, like, I really wanted to like it. The concept is something that I love, but for whatever reason, the actual gameplay just didn't do anything for me. I might revisit that at some point, because it's... I recognize that it's a decent game, but it just didn't do it for me. Um, what, other, what other stuff did I try? Way of the Samurai just fell flat on its face. Like, no, no one wanted to watch that shit. I liked it. I liked that game, but... There were some issues on PC with it. It was the PS2 one was much better that I played when I was younger. They were getting some lag issues. I don't know what's going on with that. It's very strange. Oh well, maybe I have something open in the background. I don't think I do, but whatever. And I'll reboot before recording the next episode. Yeah, so Way of the Samurai didn't do that well. Overwatch didn't do that well, and I'm not that good at it. That one under I understand. Um, Hearthstone I kind of got fucked on because the tavern brawls wound up being solo or bad and there hasn't really been a good opportunity to play that again but uh, there's a there's a few things coming up that I'm working on and you know trying out and maybe if they're good I'll be able to put them out because I know right now just seeing stone hearth and life is futile I can do better than that I want to have some more variety here um, one that I'm thinking about playing is Empire, which is a little bit like Dungeon Keeper and Evil Genius, if you know those games. It's sort of like the inverse of uh, Dungeon Crawl, where you control the dungeon and you try to fight off heroes that are invading. I think that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, I kind of missed the boat on Dungeon Keeper, so hearing that those are really good, I played Evil Genius a bit, like five years ago, I think, on Steam somewhere. That was great. Really enjoyed it. A little bit old, so it did, you know it wasn't perfect, but uh, good game. I enjoy it quite a bit, and that's probably something that I'll go back to. Like that'd be a good uh, maybe stream game sometime if I if I get more popular and I'm looking for like hey it's you know whatever just stream on the weekend or something that'd be a fun relaxing game to play that's funny. But uh, Empire is kind of similar to that, and then Darkest Dungeon of course. I, th I feel like that's a game that I would be decent at if I put the time into it. So, you know, maybe it's maybe it's time to put the time into it and have a long-running Darkest Dungeon series there. Get a big update coming out soon, so... I know it's a little bit late, but, you know, maybe get on that train and see how it is. 
because I never really got into it. Empire is a similar situation. Like, I've always kind of respected it from a distance. I've tried to play it a few times, but I just never quite got into it. So having a series kind of benefits me too, because it'll give me a chance to, to give it a fair shake, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's like a one to two hour time investment straight of like solid work and recording, which is vocally a little bit difficult to uh, even figure out if the series is going to be worth pursuing and getting art for. And at that point, then you're talking about yeah, you've got the first few episodes recorded, but now you got to wait probably about a week or maybe a little less, but ballpark around a week maybe to uh, to get the art done, depending on the timing of things. And it's just it's not an easy thing, unfortunately. Oh, that's cool. They just spawned in. Can wipe them out right now, nice and easy. Doesn't bother me in the least. That guy's dead, real dead. So yeah, another one that I thought about doing is Factorio, but I feel like... I don't know, I feel like I'm not being objective about that right now, because right now a lot of the streamers are... or a lot of the streamers that I watch, such as Michael L. Fox, Austin... La sorry, Last Grey Wolf, who is Austin. Uh, Northern Lion, Rockley Smile, Bear Taffy... Alpaca Patrol, all those guys are doing Factorio right now. And I've thought about doing Factorio on YouTube in the past. That's another one that's a little bit old at this point. As far as LPs go, it's not brand new, so of course now it's old. So I don't know if it's worth doing, but it's a really good game and I like it. So I might just do it, but uh, I'm not sure. And the problem is making that decision right now is kind of unwise because... I'm as stupid as it's going to sound. I'm kind of approaching it from a somewhat, not emotional, but clouded state because I'm looking at other people playing it and enjoying that, which means to me, I may have an inflated sense of whether or not that game is worth me playing it. Because it's not just, is the game good? It's, does it make sense for me to play it? And that's a complicated question. And I feel like that's actually a big problem with LPs, and I hope you guys don't... Let me put it this way, I hope I don't mislead anyone in this way, because I feel like, and a really good example of this is Dead by Daylight, if you're unfamiliar with it. Um, let me get the next tier cut off here as soon as they start collecting these. I want to give them a chance to get this stuff off here, but um, a while back, it's kind of died off now, because people moved on basically or at least mostly moved on but a while back like three or four months ago dead by daylight was like all over steam and streamers and lpers were playing the shit out of it and they get with like five friends and play and one of them is a is a monster and then the other four of you are survivors that try to run around and uh, fix generators so that you can escape it's you know a pretty basic horror game it's hardly new. It's cool, you know, the mechan like the core concept of the game and generally the mechanics are fine. Like it it's the core of a good game is oh, we're very close. The core of a good game is there. But that game ran like shit. Like it had problems all the time. It well, sometimes just wouldn't work. So many so many issues with it. And you can even see this when people are streaming it and playing it. It just fuck up for them all the time. But because people see streamers playing it and having fun with it and etc etc, I feel like that sort of misled people into buying it. And that's what I don't want to do. Because I think that's kind of the problem with LPs. And the people that I was watching stream it were always saying like, please don't buy it, this game is terrible, the only reason it's good is because we've got, you know, we're enjoying the stupidity of it and the, all of it breaking with you guys, and also we're playing with friends that we have on, you know, on the on VoIP and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So, within the context of a stream, the game is fantastic, it's loads of fun, because having it break to a degree is enjoyable because you get to make fun of it and laugh with your friends, etc. And some of the glitches were funny, whatever. 
But if you leave that setting and you say, okay, well now I'm going to play it online with other people online who I don't necessarily know, it's a horrible, horrible, horrible game. And there's no getting around that. So I feel like at that point the LPs in no way deliberately, but did mislead people into buying it when it was really not a good purchase because it really wasn't a good game by any stretch. So I, wa I want to avoid that is what I'm getting at, I suppose. And I don't know if I can, I kind of, if I'm being completely honest here, I forgot how I got onto the subject in the first place. Oh, right, about playing Factorio. So yeah, I, I don't necessarily trust myself to, I didn't buy it, by the way, I didn't buy Dead by Daylight. I knew this, it would be a horrible game for me to buy, I wouldn't enjoy it. I enjoyed watching people play it, but I knew that one was obvious enough for me that I knew, you know, hey, this is not going to be good if I buy it. But I have fallen for that other times. I can't recall exactly what games I've fallen for that with, but I have on some games where it's just kind of like, this is not nearly as fun as it looked like, so... Now I'm out 10 or 15 bucks, but that's no big deal compared to 60 bucks, so I shouldn't complain too much. But yeah, so like looking at Factorio, if I'm watching someone else play it, and this is kind of like what happened with Hearthstone, actually, unfortunately, because it looks a lot more fun when other people that I know are playing it, and I'm enjoying their interaction rather than enjoying them playing the game, which creates an issue for me if I'm going to do a video of it, because then I'm not necessarily thinking about whether or not it'll be enjoyable to watch me play. I'm thinking about the interaction, which is completely independent of the game with the other player, which, you know, I can get, but I have to, you know... I gotta find Eric, basically, and get him back, or get Karen to play something with me. Whatever, you get the idea. But at that point, it's it's more about the other person than it is about the game. And I'm trying to not let that influence me as much, because it leads to me making bad decisions about what to play. On camera, I mean. So, I'm thinking about doing Factorio, is what this is getting at, but I don't know if it's a good idea and I'm not comfortable making that decision until I'm not watching other people play it. Because if I'm watching other people play it, I'm gonna get sucked into that. I'm gonna have an irrational idea. Oh, okay, I didn't need to do that. I'm gonna have an irrational idea of how good it is, basically. Even though I already played Terraria, uh, not Terraria, why am I saying Terraria? Factorio long before I saw anyone else play it. I love it, it's a fantastic game and I have insights into it because I work in manufacturing. All that's great, but I'm much more into it right now because I'm seeing other people play it, so. Of course, I'm watching Bear Taffy play Darkest Dungeon, but I'm willing to look look beyond that for that game unfortunately which maybe is stupid but i think i think i'm better with like the strategic decisions rather than tactical decisions strategic being longer term longer time scale or turn-based stuff whereas tactical would be like an fps where you really got to make decisions quick or even an rts where basically you're reacting in real time I'm much better if it's a slower paced decision making environment. I'm good at that. Or I'm better at that anyway. Because I'm not a quick thinker, I'm a slow thinker. I like to go nice and slow. Speak and I'm sorry that this is going as slow as it is. I kinda thought this would be faster. We're making progress though. We're about three levels deep now. It's not great for twenty minutes of work though. Do we want to change anyone's jobs? I actually have an herbalist. What do I not have? Oh, I have everything. Okay, I thought I didn't have an herbalist for some reason. Must be the must be the ascendancy playthrough where I don't have an herbalist. I'm gonna make like 50 potions. Why not? Where are we getting invaded from? Oh, where the fuck did they come from? That was weird. They were like in that little corner. What the fuck? Born of the mountain. 
All right, well, we're attacking them. Uh, anyone else want to join? Guys? All right, here we go. Yeah, they're showing up. There we go. Yeah, we're fine. A little concerned that that guy was going to go lower health much more quickly, but doesn't appear that that was going to happen. Got a new person for our trouble, too. Hopefully they'll they'll get this working a little bit quicker. But yeah, so, you know, I again, I basically what I'm getting at with this episode and what I've talked about so far is I apologize that I'm only really playing, like, two games right now. I know a lot of you are probably here for Stonehearth specifically, so if that's the case, then you probably don't care. But hey, if you, you know, you like my commentary, which I hope you do, but I totally understand if you don't, then you may consider checking out the other series when they go up, whenever that may be. Granted, it's not going to be immediate because I don't even know what the series are going to be at this point. Could be any of the games that I mentioned or none of them. I really don't know yet. If I was a betting man, I would say it's probably going to be Empire or Darkest Dungeon. But between those two, I honestly don't know which I'm going to play first. It really... I, re I got to record those first five episodes and really see, okay, well, how do I feel about this? Rewatch the videos, say, okay, well, how is one, make sure everything's recording properly because different games have different needs sometimes. Get everything set up, figure out, okay, well, how does my commentary work with this? Am I unbelievably shitty at it to the point where no one would want to watch it, etc., etc. So there's a lot of work that has to be done before I can give you guys any new content there as far as different games go, but it is on the horizon. That's what I'm getting at, so I hope you look forward to it. If you have any opinion about, you know, no, don't play this, yes, play this, or a recommendation, I'm like, I go through the Steam Discovery queue regularly because that's how I found Stonehearth, and Stonehearth is a perfect example of the kind of game that I'm interested in. Because it's an indie game that's not that well known, but that is pretty solid like I, I've got issues with it and I've bitched about those issues recently and that but I'm gonna have issues with any game I don't give anyone a pass so overall I gotta say Stonehearth is a pretty solid game I don't really have that many major complaints about it there's things that I have an issue with but most of them are basically the scalability of the of the game scaling up to additional people because in both campaigns at this point, I'm over the default population limit. So I'm breaking the rules that the game sets initially by changing a setting, which, you know, it allows you to do. I'm just saying I'm going higher than it's maybe designed to go. I think long term they're going to make it better obviously, because otherwise they just release it and say it's version 1.0 and be done with it. But you get what I'm saying. So my complaints don't mean that this is a bad game. It's not a bad game, it's a good game. But this is like... Really the holy grail as a YouTuber, as a small YouTuber, is like an indie game that isn't that well known, but that is good. And there are very few of those, but like man, I would have killed to get in on Darkest Dungeon on the ground floor. Like get in on that initially. Or, you know, obviously the easy one is like, oh, hey, wouldn't it be great if you were one of the first people to do LPs for Minecraft? No shit. That's, but that's basically what I'm saying, right? Games like Darkest Dungeon, that, like indie hits that are really good, that aren't necessarily well known in the beginning. But the internet is such a huge place with so many people on it. Those hardly exist. You're never going to be the first to market with LPs on anything. You're just not. It's not reasonable. So I have to hope to get in there early, and then that leads to increased discovery, and then hopefully at that point, my content can carry it, and I can, I don't know, show that I'm at least decent. I don't want to say that I'm better any better than anyone, because that's not, I don't think that's the right attitude to have, but uh, I hope my commentary is good. Always trying to improve. 
So I'm sure it's fine, but uh, yeah, just hope it's it's passable. That's all you can really ask for. I don't think anyone's expecting me to like be a TV anchor and like have amazing comedy and everything. That's just not who I am. I would like to be better with humor, but mostly I'm just good at whining, so I guess I'll stick with that. But now that we've gone a bit long, because I had some things I want to talk about, I'm going to call this episode here. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll join us for the next one as well. As I've said a few times in the video, if you have any comments about the stuff I've just discussed, about what games to play, or, you know, something you'd like to see, or hey, if you got a recommendation for a cool game that you'd like to see played that isn't getting much coverage, then let me know. I'm all, I'm all yours, honestly. There's a lot of stuff out there, but please don't be offended if I don't play it, because, you know, it might just not be my game. It could be the best game in the world. If I'm not really my kind of thing, then, you know, it is what it is. Everyone's got different opinions. So, like I said, thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care.